Hey everyone, welcome to the Game Design Perspective. I'm Santi, and today before we start, I would like to clarify that in this video, for the sake of discussion, I'll be using the terms AAA, AA, and Indie. I personally do not like these terms at all. I think they oversimplify and harm video games as a whole. But I also understand that they're widely understood and used. Today, I want to talk about this subject that has been buzzing around in a lot of video game channels and the overall sentiment in video games as a whole that indies and double A's are the saviors of the video game industry. That this is where innovation exists and that video games need to become smaller to survive. And even though I agree, I think this point of view is not the whole picture. Oof, let's face it. The past few years have been really rough for the video game industry. All these layoffs and canceled projects though didn't happen without a reason. The reality is that the overwhelming reliance on live service games, the skyrocketing budgets and scopes, and of course the pandemic, which by the way has caused all investors to overvalue the current state of the video game industry. And there is a specific reason for that. Let's talk about it later. I will say though that the indie market has brought wonderful games, also the double A market. I think those markets are thriving if you see them on face value. But there are some problems caused by all the layoffs that people are not talking about. So if you're curious about my detailed analysis of the current state of the video game industry, based on 70 interviews I had in 2023 and talking with other professionals in the video game industry, check the video in the description below. But today the narrative is different. I want to talk about an idea that has been gaining traction lately that only indie and double A games, so smaller games, are the ones that can save the video game industry. And I don't think it's an idea without merits, but it's not the whole picture again. Recently, as people that watch our previous video will know, I went to Indie Dev Day here in Barcelona. This is an event that unites indie and double A developers to showcase their games to publishers and honestly to the public overall. You can try so many games here. It is quite a big event, like Larian Studios was there, Devolver Digital was there, and of course, IO Interactive was there. And there were other studios and publishers. In general, I think we showcased around 150 games, and not small games, like fully fledged games. And well, Larian uh, Studios developers and IO Interactive tend to hang out together a lot because we're kind of neighbors here in Barcelona. So talking to them, uh, I found out very sad news. So this is my first year in Barcelona. So this is my first event. And I didn't know this, but they all told me that at least half of these games will be canceled by next year. They will not survive long enough. I started thinking immediately, these indies, these double A games, these are smaller games that are glorified as the saviors of the video game industry are in trouble as well. And I think there are three reasons. Reason number one, bigger budgets promote technological development and the growth of new developers. So have you played an indie game and wonder how are they made? Most of these games are built on engines like Unreal and Unity, which were developed with massive budgets, some of them from AAA titles. Unreal Engine is called like that because of Unreal Tournament. But there's another example I want to talk about. Halo 2 is recognized for its innovative creation of behavior trees for AI task management. This set a standard that's now a staple in every single game engine out there. Every single game uses a similar system now and Bungie was able to create this due to the backing and budget. The level of innovation comes from the resources of a AAA studio, even before the AAA term was popular. Without the big budget projects pushing some of the technological advancement in the video game industry, indies and AA will not have the tools to push the boundaries in design and gameplay. Can you all imagine a thriving indie and double A industry without engines like Unreal or Unity? It's hard to imagine, right? And there's another thing. The rapid expansion of game development programs is flooding the industry with new developers. Pursuing a career in any branch of game development is becoming increasingly popular. 
which honestly schools have capitalized on by charging high tuitions to aspiring professionals. These professionals are just eager to break into the industry. For instance, one school alone produces approximately 50 graduates every three months, about 200 new developers annually. Just think about it. How many studios can realistically absorb this influx of talent? AAA game studios play a vital role in training and mentoring these emerging professionals. A general rule of thumb, albeit not universally true, is that smaller teams tend to favor experienced developers. For example, while there are projects like Stardew Valley that succeeded as a solo endeavor, most smaller and indie studios prioritize hiring seasoned team members who already possess the necessary skills, therefore saving in scope and budget while training this new hire. But you can say whatever you want about Ubisoft. But the reality is that, for example, in IO Interactive, 80% of the team, approximately here in Barcelona especially, and in Malmo, Sweden as well, has gone through Ubisoft in one way or another. And it has been an excellent training ground for developers to grow and find their next opportunity. Which is why also why Ubisoft tends to not keep their employees a lot, but we all go through Ubisoft in one way or another, at least in the Western Hemisphere. Now, the trend of smaller games or focusing on smaller games or just creating smaller games or indie games, this trend causes that junior developers have less opportunity to find their first job, which is already probably the hardest part of being a video game developer. Your first job is probably the hardest point and you're making it even harder now without bigger teams. The reality is that they, we need these AAA companies to ensure the growth of new talent. We need these larger environments where junior developers can hone their skills without being left behind and they can find their mentors. Now, I know that was two reasons in one, but I think they merged together a little bit. It's time for reason number two. The indie market is heavily saturated. Have you ever wondered how many games come out in one day? Well, Steam, the primary platform for some indies, releases around 50 games a day. That's right, 50. Even if just one of those games is actually polished, that's still around 30 games a month that barely registers with the audience. And that is just Steam. But the reality is that if you look through Steam yourself on the releases day by day, is that a lot of these games are polished products that nobody even recognizes them. To compete, indie developers need to increase their budget, increase their scope, take higher risk, and start investing a lot more money in marketing. Just remember this as a golden rule. The more a video game market or entertainment market is saturated, the more money you will need to put in marketing in order to be noticed. And this is money that is not being put into the game itself. And indies and double A's are starting to suffer from this. You just need to look into the Steam page or look into the Nintendo eShop and you will find how many games are getting released by day. No industry can hold that amount of games and all of them being successful. The indie market is saturated. So before I give you reason three, let's do a thought experiment. Imagine a well-known AAA studio. I'll say IO Interactive because I work there. IO has currently 350 people working in two major titles across several studios. So what if we split the teams because we got laid off, for example, and we had to split into teams of 20 people, an indie studio, a biggish indie studio. Suddenly, that amount of people is not producing two games, they're producing 17 or 18. And here's a catch. If all those teams are only focused on smaller projects, the overall innovation would suffer. The technology and expertise used to develop larger projects wouldn't be lost because a smaller team has less space to innovate in technology. Most indie studios don't have a tech department like bigger studios would have. There is a higher focus on developing the game itself. Sure, smaller games need to sell less to be profitable, but we are forgetting the bigger picture here. The most important thing in the video game industry is not money. 
It's time. Reason number three, time is the real competition. Time is the most valuable resource we have. It doesn't care whether a game is AAA or indie. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. Imagine if we drastically increase the output of games because we are reducing their scope. Would players even have the time to enjoy all these new games? Indie games might have a smaller scope, but this smaller scope is based on assets. Indie games are not necessarily short games. They can take hundreds of hours to finish or enjoy, just like AAA. The reality is that the equation is not balanced. 10 indie games times-wise does not equal one AAA game. 10 indie games might take 10 times the amount of hours from a consumer in a market that we're already competing for that not counting that most people just buy one game a month if we flood the market with the smaller titles we might risk a bigger crash so what's the takeaway here the takeaway is that we need balance the video game industry requires triple a titles with large teams and budgets to thrive this structure not only fosters technological innovation, but also supports a wide range of developers, especially those just starting out. Indies have a crucial role in the ecosystem. We need those smaller games, definitely, but they cannot shoulder the responsibility of saving the industry alone. We need big games, big ideas, and big teams to create a vibrant and sustainable gaming industry. AAA games need to stop chasing the battle pass, the microtransaction, and the overall game as service golden goose. They need to start focusing not on how much money I can extract from one gamer. Stop chasing the whale. They need to start focusing on the blockbuster, on these amazing experiences that can be single player or multiplayer, but that bring new people into the medium. That console seller, that PC seller, that someone that was not interested in video games gets curious. That's what their focus should be, in expanding the market, not focusing on what already is there. This is actually why I love the Space Marine 2. It showed us what a AAA game can look like in a healthy industry. But AAA just needs to get it together, man. They really do. Because I don't think indie can shoulder all video games. It's not enough. Anyway, if you like this discussion, if you like this video, don't forget to comment and like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. If you think I um, don't know what I'm talking about, also let me know in the comments below. That's Santi. This is the Game Design Perspective. Have a good one. Bye.